told that there was somebody that you brought to the party that talked about me. And who you guys allowed to talk about me? It was Lena. Lena. Who's Lena? Hairdresser. I'm paying for a ticket to be there for your charity, and then the waitress came over to me and says, yeah, you don't have a pink wristband, you have to go. And I was like, I'm not going. She was like, I don't like what she did to me at the party. She did something like this to me when I was in the VIP. Of course, she should have been the VIP. Who is she? Hearing that somebody was like talking so bad about me at your house, who's so insignificant I, 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 to wait. us, I feel like. I just feel like you should be defending me. I don't know what you guys did. So don't come at me saying you should have stuck up for me. I don't know what, can, what you had going on with her. The issue is that two of my friends are allowing somebody else to come in and talk about me. And I would have hoped they would say, that's not Danielle at all. There might be a misunderstanding like I have done for them millions of times. But also, Jen Fessler said you were making fun of me at the party. To you? Jen Fessler told you? Jen Fessler told Margaret, and Margaret told me. Let me tell you something. When I retell a story, I like people to envision how it went down. Yes. So mm -hmm. sometimes I reenact. But that's not knocking. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Why would Jen Fessler guy, say you made fun of me? Were you just, like, like mimicking me? I was me? imitating you. I was just I, telling the You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what. When we were in the locker room, I have to tell you, I felt very ambushed when you were like, you didn't tell me you were buying honey, huh? Who invited you to Jen's puppy party? I'm friends with Jen. I didn't know that you were, like, friends with her. Did like, I not tell you? No. That's a recurring theme, I think, of you not telling me things. And you're like, oh, I feel it's a reoccurring theme with you. And I was like, what is that supposed to mean? Well, not telling me things, which goes back to the but again, issue with Melissa. I didn't know that I can tell you that Melissa knew without telling you how she knew, which was Louie talking to Joe, OK? So that's the only reason. Yes, I'm completely transparent, but I'm also very loyal. And that was her story to tell, not mine. But you could have said to her, listen, Melissa yeah, knows, know but knows. we're going to keep this under wraps. It doesn't need to be discussed again. And then it never would have been talked about. Again. I honestly, and I, I wanted to you to answer this honestly. Did you set me up? No. No, and I know it looks like that. Okay. Both I, don't, of us. I, I want you, girl. I, want, I did not I, set I, you I, up. I, I, Are you feel, gonna ask? I feel don't, like you did not, you and I really want to believe that. that you did not. I wish you would have just said. By the way, Melissa knows. Well, I didn't tell you she I, did. She told me. I know. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know what else I can do. It was not a setup. I mean, I, I don't know who's in your ear, Danielle, because she told you, like, how many times like now? It's clear as day that Danielle has little birdies in her ear, a.k.a. one ear, Margaret, the other ear, my sister-in-law. We don't have to, like, it's enough. I don't want to hear it anymore. It's, I, I don't, it's, it's about my family. I don't want to hear it anymore. If anything, we were set up. Margaret put that out there about Melissa so people could start talking. She's the rude of all evil. It comes from Margaret. All right, well, can I, can, if we're moving on. I pre-ordered your book. Oh, you're very sweet. Thank you. So is it OK for us to ask, like, what that drama was between you and Margaret at the baseball game? Jack, she don't care about you. Don't listen, Jack. Not, you're yeah, way smarter true. than that. I'm trust not, me. I'm not, trust I'm me. Like, I've been I'm around this a long time. Guys. I just wanted to be known that, like, I'm not on, like, anyone's side anymore. I'm doing whatever I want to do. And I'm being there friends with no whoever I want to be friends be with, and I don't care. That's the way you should so be. Have you and Teresa talked yet? No. You, what, you want me to talk here in front of everybody? I'm not doing that. I mean, it's like crazy. Like, I always have to have the center of attention. I get it. But I did not say that your husband was a drug dealer present. I heard that he was the biggest drug dealer in um, Bergen County, Teresa. The implication of anything like that is so slanderous. Um, um, and ditto. I mean, I get it. I get it, because you guys did it to my husband. the intentions behind you that saying that something I like that. Excuse right. me, I'm talking. Wait, wait. You try to turn it into something. Uh, all right, I'm not She's doing saying this. saying she doesn't believe I, it now. Um, she but I'm talking not. about intention. Is that the didn't intention? Didn't I just say I did not say that? You yeah, said he that. was. Regardless of the verb, his ex is or was, there. if you're going to bring an ex back, but you be very cautious you brought about the what you're f***ing with right now. Because if out. anyone's ex is, you brought the ex talking, you brought the ex out. 
<laughs> so I would quit while you're f***ing yeah, ahead. So don't poke the f***ing bear. Don't be poke the bear. Because your husband's got way more exes talking than mine does. You brought what up. What was the intention? Answer the question. What was your intention? Answer the question. What's the question?